Thank you for watching InfoRoids. Today we bring you a story of a man who fell from space after his spacecraft shut down. On 23rd April 1967, Vladimir Komarov launched into space for a USSR mission. Vladimir Komarov was a highly experienced test pilot who was a Soviet cosmonaut. As experienced of a pilot as Komarov was, he had serious misgivings about the mission from the start. The first sign of trouble could be found on the ship axis hatch. The space was too small for a fully stood astronaut to move through easily, but it turned out that that was the least of Komarov's troubles to this mission. When the engineers inspected the spacecraft before the mission launch, they found 203 problems that they listed out in detail, and a memo that recommended halting the mission. Unfortunately that the memo never made it to the chain of command as no one ever wanted to deliver bad news. And when Komarov successfully entered into space, the trouble started at once when one of the two solar panels of the spacecraft failed to deploy, starving the craft of electricity power, and obscuring some of the navigation equipment. Other glitches developed as the day went on. The fast attempt to change the spacecraft's orbit was unsatisfactory. The ship began to rotate around its axis and only spun more when Komarov tried to correct the problem. Komarov treated successfully to orient the spacecraft's module for five hours. The craft was transmitting unreliable status information and communications were lost. The thermal control system degenerated, communications with the ground became irregular, and lack of electricity prevented the astro-orientation system from operating. Seeing all these problems, the ground control decided to bring Komarov home at the first available opportunity. Using procedure that he had never participated in training, Komarov managed to align the spacecraft and fire the rocket himself. Despite his heroic efforts to save the mission, worse was to come. He successfully re-entered the Earth's orbit on his 19th orbit, but as the cabin descended through the atmosphere, the drogue parachute came out but the main parachute remained sturdily in the container. When the reserve chute was popped out, it tangled in the lane of the dracute of the main parachute. The spacecraft crashed at a great speed into the Stepan Orenberg. The cabin exploded on impact and when Sabin exploded on impact and when Soviet Air Force recovery team arrived all they found was burning metal the rim of the top of the spacecraft being the only hardware they could identify. 